Okay, flatheads and subscribers, hey, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to change out this wobbly bobbly shifter that I have in my 1968 Camaro convertible. Uh, it was replaced probably about 40 years ago. Uh, it's loose, it's worn out, it's got the wrong bracket on there. So in today's episode, I'm going to replace it and show you how to do it. Thanks a lot for following along. Okay, here's the kit I got from Eric Crash Davidson. Uh, what he does is he customizes this existing bracket here, uh, adds this particular um, bracket here and extends it out a little bit further because the Super T10 is three quarters of an inch longer than the original Muncie. So he supplies all of the hardware, uh, all of the brackets here, all of the linkage. Uh, he also, of course, brand new shifter. You can take a look here. You can see how this particular shifter has got the offset uh, for the first generation Camaro to get it to fit in the original uh, location up in the console. So uh, let's in get this installed. Okay, here's the old uh, existing shifter that I have in the car now. You can see the boot is all tore up. But I wanted to show you a few things. Uh, check out that custom work there, huh? Wow. Oh, well, that'll do it. One of that. A lot of things here. I'll do some wiggling here and kind of see that. Uh, here, let me get over here. There we go. A lot of it is loose. Uh, there's actually a mounting screw right down there. You can see how that is loose down there. Uh, what a mess. So I'll show you down below what I see as well. Okay, let's have a look underneath here and I can show you what I'm up against here. There's some of the bracketry. Had some washers there hold it in place. They added some nice uh, connections there. And let's go up to the front here. You can see some of the rods they used and all of that. So uh, we shifted over here a little bit. Yeah. Not your best uh, installation here. Let me see if I can get any more here too. Another thing I wanted to point out, let me get a, see if I can get over here to it, is, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to get the camera around here. Sorry for that. You can look up inside there. There's supposed to be a mounting bolt there and over here uh, inside holding this transmission to the mount. But both screws are missing. Looks like they vibrated loose. We do have a couple of these in here, but uh, we're missing those. So uh, the goal here is to replace those as well and actually not replace them, but install them. So that's the plan. Take the old one out and put the new one in. Well, first things first, I'm gonna re remove these guys right here and here. Get those shift linkages off. Another one hiding back there. So we'll get all three of those off. Okay, I was able to get the linkages loose as you can see here. Disconnected those. Got reverse in there too. Got that off. Uh, now I got to take one of those little brackets off and actually uh, use that to put it back into neutral. All right, I removed all of the linkage. Thought I'd remove the bolts as well just to uh, make sure it wasn't a nuisance as I removed the rest of it. Okay, now on to these uh, makeshift uh, brackets here, as you can see. Uh, let's get the rest of this shifter out of there. Okay, the struggle is real. All right, well, I've removed this bolt, no problem. There's another guy way up there. That's, uh, I got him loose. Now there's another one way up there that's holding the receiver bracket in. So uh, my challenge now is to try to get those bolts out so I can get that whole shifter out. Let's, uh, let's uh, keep working on it. Okay, there's the carcass right there of all of the old Hurst shifter parts. Check it out. It's all done. Yeah, look at that bracket. Yep. So, now on to installation. Rest in peace, Mr. Wobbles. Thank you. 
Okay, there it is without the shifter. Look at all that butchery up there. Unfortunately, uh, you know, they had to move all of that around and cut it out and bend the crap out of it. But uh, good news is we got the proper uh, bracket and shifter to make this happen. Okay, so now I got to jack up with the transmission to get that bracket underneath this, this mounting bracket over here. Where am I? Here it is, right here. So let's get that done. Okay, what I've done now is installed the shifter onto the bracket. Uh, you put the U-bolt in there to hold it in place right here. And now you can see I have to align over here. I got to align that mounting bolt hole for the motor mount itself through the black bracket and connect it to the tail shaft. Okay, so let's... Uh, Try that, you can see it isn't aligned, so I brought my little crowbar along with me to uh, pry it all back together. Let's see if I could do it. Okay, I was able to get the shifter receiver mounted underneath the transmission mount, get both bolts installed. Lots of fun there. What I ended up doing was taking these two bolts out so I could wiggle the mount around while I uh, got the bolts in over here underneath those are 10 millimeter or the m10 by 1.5s those are metric uh, and then the other thing you'll notice too is uh, the shifter itself is a little bit lower and further back so i'm able to easily remove the pin here for the alignment uh, and um, it might make things a lot easier once i make the adjustment so now on to the linkage Here's a picture of the completed linkage installation. Uh, I didn't bother videotaping any of that. Pretty straightforward. Put the pin in, uh, make the adjustments, and then attach the clips. All right, let's check this out. Push the clutch in. All right, check this out. Over reverse. Wow much better fantastic success i'll have to repair some of this over here too as you can see they chopped it up pretty good yeah that's the way it is okay now that i have successfully installed that shifter what i want to do is go up there and change out the speedometer gear up there so let me pull that out okay here's the white one all right that top gear the 20 tooth was already in the car when i bought it of course that was off uh, then i went with the 19 tooth still not enough but eventually then i put in a 17 tooth and that did it perfectly 50 at 50. Put a new seal on there. Let's get that up in here. There we go. Snaps in. Looks good. Okay, get that speedo cable back on let me tighten it up with the pliers and we'll all we'll be all set okay now that i got that new shifter put in ah let's test it 